Hey everybody, Jordan Kotzebue here. I'm the author and creator of Hominids from the webcomic series. Um, ugh, yuck. It's my first time, so be a little nervous, but uh, we'll get through those cakes. Um, you can go to hominidscomic.com to read my comic. Today I'm going to do uh, some flatting for my newest page, so I thought I'd uh, show you guys how I do it and um, the easy steps that you can take. So we'll go ahead and dive in right now. I'll share my screen with you guys. Um, first thing to note is that I use um, Flatting Pro for my comic, and basically. This was a this was a plugin that used to be free. Unfortunately, now it's um, ninety nine dollars. So you really want to make sure this is something that's worthwhile. If you're doing lots of coloring uh, for comics, then this is perfect. It's worth the investment. Um, if not, then it may not be the best way. But uh, this video will show you why it's so helpful and. Um, and how it can help speed up your comic book. So, okay, this is my latest page. This is the one I'm gonna post on Tuesday. And there's a couple things to note. Um, I'm gonna have uh, my fill bucket. And since we're using um, Flat Pro, we wanna make sure we have everything to anti-alias checked off. We don't want that shut box on. Go ahead and turn that guy off. Um, and over here, I have um, my layers, and you'll notice one thing. There's a couple of inked layers right here, and if I turn this off, you can see that I have these big shaped inks, and what I'm doing here is when I ink, um, I want to basically just do the biggest shapes available. Um, I don't I don't want to ink anything um, with detail and that way when we do the paint bucket we can just do the very biggest shapes and it just goes by really really fast and then I have the finished inks right on top so for the purpose of the video I think I will show you how to do um, maybe just one or two panels because uh, I don't think there's any need for me to show you guys how to do this whole thing. Then you'll just see me dropping a bunch of colors into a bucket, and that's not the funnest. So, so here we go. Um, one thing I do is I like to grab the page previously, especially if it's a similar scene. I know the color palette's going to be the same. So I have all these other characters right here, and that way I can basically just drag and drop those colors. So we'll go ahead and put that off to the side. Um, let's go ahead and do this panel right here. And I'll show you why this goes so quickly. First things first is I like to uh, put the background color on there first. And that is something that um, is just a personal preference. Um, go ahead and make a new layer. I'm set this to multiply for a moment just so that you can see what's going on under, underneath. There we go. Okay, so I know that's going to be the background color. I can work with that. Um, turn this back to normal. So that'll go back to all white. If you want to work with the uh, colors underneath, then um, I would suggest go ahead and selecting all the white and getting rid of it. And then you can um, see everything underneath. Oh, one thing to note, uh, when I ink, I work traditionally uh, with regular inks. And when I scan it in, I do it as a bitmap. That way, um, it's straight up black and white. Um, this won't work if you are doing it any other way. So you need you need it to be exactly black to white. If you're doing it something with like a brush, 
Um, you, let, me show, let me turn off the blending. You can do a brush like that and zoom way in. You could see all those gray pixels in there. That's going to mess everything up. You can't use that. So if you work, if you uh, ink digitally, um, we can work around that, and I'll talk about ways that um, you can still use this program uh, a bit later. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead, go in here, and start plopping in the shapes, which is really the easiest part and very fun. So now I have my paint bucket out. I'm going to go ahead and click on continue on contingent. And this this keeps everything within the line. If that button is unclicked, it basically does the entire background and won't work. So here we go. Nice thing is, is just yep. What did I do? I think I missed a step. Right. So I have my border here. Sometimes you can forget that the border needs to be with the inks, otherwise these open areas are just gonna basically fill the whole thing. So I'll just duplicate this real quick and merge these layers and now it's all now it's all good. Okay. And then I can drop it in. So it goes without saying that you need all your shapes to be closed. Otherwise it won't work. Okay. I'll go ahead and grab this other page and just kind of show you the colors that I'm grabbing from. So this is obviously some darker pages. Hopefully your screen catches it pretty well. Um, Nighttime scene, a lot of reflective stuff going on. So, the colors and the flats tend to look pretty dark, but it looks real nice when you're all done. So, this is this character's name, Clumsy. He's um, an albino, so he's always a little lighter, which is kind of kind of nice for the background. For him to kind of pop out. And he's real easy to color. Almost done. You want to make sure you don't miss any shapes or spots, otherwise, um, you got to go in and color it in a little later. Let's see. Here we go. Okay. And that is basically how quickly a panel can go through. And a lot of times when I'm doing the entire page, I'll just have everything up and you know, I'll uh, grab that one color and just go through and do the whole thing. It goes really, really fast. It's very, very effective. Um, but we're just going to do this one panel for now, so I'll go back and do the rest of that later. So the next step is um, I want to go ahead, turn back contingent off on and um, make this layer all white again, because right now it looks like that. And for the Flatting Pro to work, you want uh, this layer to be filled with all white. Okay, so the next step is to basically flatten this layer. And if you went ahead and downloaded the plugin, it'll live in filters. You go down to Pelt Made, and all you have to do just hit the Flatten Pro button. And wait for it. 
boom there we go so now this layer is only color and you can see there's a couple spots in between that's where there was some closed shapes for um, the inks but the nice thing is is that it's real easy to I mean it's just a couple quick spots so I just go in I'll turn on the main ink layer to make sure I know um, what color it is you can see it's not perfectly aligned a lot of times I'll just take the ink layer and just move it around a little bit just to just to get it right and the nice thing about this is it closes um, all the colors off in between the blacks so what it's doing is getting rid of all your blacks and basically um, the color is going right in the middle so it's perfect for print um, because the blacks are going to overlap that so that is very very handy okay so let's just close in these shapes real quick make sure contingent is back on Sometimes I'll use my brush tool and just give it that little bit of cleanup. Oh, and I do like to have it on pencil tool. That way it's um, completely black and white, or uh, the hard edge colors. You can see this is just a really effective way to get your flats in. And flats is kind of one of the things that can be the most tedious. And something, you know, a lot of people will go and hire out uh, to somebody else. And if you don't want to do that or you don't have the money to do that, uh, this is a nice way to get it done fast. And then you can move on to the fun stuff of rendering this guy out which is what I'll do in my next video. And I'll show you kind of how I do all the fun stuff. And once that's ready, once that goes in, this whole page will be flatted. And the last step I do is once I have that all done, I go ahead and highlight all the white. Just go ahead and delete it. I have my background colors, I have my flats, get my inks back up to 100, and there we go. And that guy is ready to start putting some lovely detail in. So that's basically how I'm going to go through and do the rest. Uh, I hope this was helpful. A little bumpy along the ride, but it's uh, kind of one of my first how-to videos where I'm uh, talking through it. So I think in the future, it'll go a lot smoother. And uh, I hope this was helpful and not too long and not too boring. <laughs> um, thanks, everybody. Talk to you next time.